Hi guys, I'm going to be talking about the Justin's Caves and Sandy Cove dive site. Um, just to give an explanation of the site for those of you that uh, don't know about it and are interested in diving this site. Okay, the first thing you need to know is that this is a summer, this is a summer dive site. So um, it's great on those hot summer days right after the southeaster has been blowing. And the southeaster is the key for this dive site. Um, if the southeast has been blowing for two to three, maybe one, two or three days, think about Justin's Caves as a, as a, as a great place to go. Just remember that after the southeaster has been blowing, the water can get extremely cold. And uh, the coldest I've dived it, I think, was seven or eight degrees. Okay, so this is a map of the dive site. At the bottom of the map, you can see the Twelve Apostles Hotel. And the parking, the parking for the dive site is just, is just north of the of the Twelve Apostles Hotel. You're going to want to park on that bend on the side of the road. Um, I've got I've got some pictures here to to show you. There's a photo of the uh, of where you want to park, and just to the to the left of that is the area where you're going to want to walk down to the dive site. There is a car guard called Mark. He's a very friendly guy and uh, he seems to know the area well and does a good job of uh, looking after the cars there. He generally puts this flag up when it's okay to dive. So if you see the flag, look out for Mark and uh, hopefully, he'll, hopefully he'll look after your vehicle. Just remember that this dive site is in the marine protected area. So it is a no-take zone. You cannot spearfish here. You cannot take anything out no crayfishing etc etc um, and those of you that are scuba diving you're going to need to get a permit before you can dive this area however if you are free diving you do not need a permit okay so I've picked out about four points of interest uh, in, in, these, in this dive site um, there are more points of interest I haven't covered strawberry rocks which is the rocks the extreme north of uh, of this map because um, just because it's a it's a long swim and I haven't had a chance to dive there yet but I've got the caves the anchor the mushroom pinnacle a cannon and another anchor which are all things that are relatively easy to find and uh, you should definitely check them out okay so let's start out by talking about Sandy Cove and uh, the anchor at Sandy Cove which is the rightmost anchor on this map um, swimming out towards this anchor, um, you can kind of hug the coastline because it's not, it's not that far out into the water. And uh, you should see a lot of kelp forests and um, open sandy patches, um, which are yeah, definitely quite, quite beautiful to look at uh, when you've got nice vis. Um, the anchor is visible from the surface. If you if you've if you've got over ten meters of vis, you could definitely see the the anchor on the bottom. I think that the anchor is sitting at around seven or eight meters deep. Um, so if you're free diving, you should be able to find it from the surface. If you're scuba diving, you're going to have to go through the maze of uh, of kelp and sandy patches to find it. But it's generally it's just remember it's close to the shore. Um, when I was on the surface. Um, above the anchor, the shore didn't seem more than five or six meters away from me. Um, so it really is quite close in. Okay, so the next spot I'm going to talk about is the Mushroom Pinnacle. It's not as frequently dived as Justin's Caves or Sandy Cove, but it's still quite an interesting spot to, to dive. Um, you can swim out either from the Justin's Caves side or from the Sandy Cove side. Um, you've got to kind of get right in the middle of Justin's Caves and Strawberry Rocks and then you should see the Mushroom Pinnacle. If you're free diving you should be able to see it uh, from the surface. Um, that's how I found it. I basically I basically swam out and just kept looking until all of a sudden at about um, two to three meters uh, below me there was all of a sudden a, a pillar of rock. Um, if you're scuba diving I'm not quite sure how you would find it, um, but once you do find it, um, it's a it's basically a pillar of rock about 10 meters high, 
and it's got a couple of overhangs and some swim throughs a very small swim through uh, on the bottom um, the front side of the mushroom pinnacle is at about uh, 12 let's say 12 meters deep and the rear side of the mushroom pinnacle drops down to 17 meters um, yeah quite a deep sandy patch on the far side um, the, the pinnacle itself is quite beautiful. It's full of, you know, um, corals and enemies, crabs. Um, so quite a, quite a lot to see. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's move on to Justin's Caves now. From where you parked your car, you'll walk straight down the hill. And um, there's no sand or anything. You'll go over the rocks and get directly... Um, into the water. You'll swim out over a big kelp forest. Um, there's quite a lot of lost scuba gear there. A um, couple of weight belts, snorkels, fins, all sorts of things have been found in there. And um, once you get through that, uh, you should be at uh, Justin's Caves. The kelp forest comes to an end and you reach the caves. Once you get to Justin's Caves, um, if you're free diving, you'll be you can just swim around um, amongst the boulders on the surface and look look down and see where you want to dive down to and see. Um, there's quite a lot to see. the The rocks are literally just full of life. Um, spiny st starfish, urchins, red bait, um, hard soft corals. Um, you name it, it's all there um, and quite accessible and and, and easy to see. As for the caves, um, they're basically, basically mostly scattered around the base, uh, the base of most of the boulders there. Um, the seafloor is at around uh, around 10 meters in this area, so quite easy uh, for free diving and for scuba diving. Um, some of them are tighter than others. There's some really big caves that are really easy to swim through, um, and there's some really really tight ones which can be a bit of a squeeze. Um, so if you're going through the tighter caves, um, be careful and try not to, to bump anything inside because you, you could quite easily um, damage some life. Okay, so behind Justin's caves is the main anchor. It's the one on the far west side of the map. I've got a shot here from the surface just to show you where it is. That's Justin's caves you can see and it's actually very close to Justin's caves. This wide angle lens just makes it look like it's further away than it really is. Um, the anchor lies at 15.1 meters so it's still in range of uh, the basic open water scuba divers and um, should be an easy dive for any free diver with um, just a little bit of experience. You should be able to get down uh, and enjoy seeing the anchor. It lies on a kind of desolate flat reef that doesn't have any kelp or, or anything much growing on it except for um, spiny starfish and, and urchins. And there's just one more shot of the anchor um, just so you can have a better look at it. Um, quite a lot quite a lot of fun to play around it is it's my it's my favorite thing at, at Justin's caves um, I just like the the depth it's um, good for good for practicing free diving not too deep not too shallow so it's a, it's a good challenge so the last spot I'm going to tell you about is the cannon um, it's easiest to swim out to from Sandy Cove you swim out and kind of follow the rocks and um, it's just off the last. It's just off the last rock, in the in the center of the map. If you looked at that earlier, and um, it's it's in a kelp patch. It's in a very very thick kelp patch, so it's not easy to see, um, and it can take quite a lot of um, scratching around before you find it. Um, it's covered in growth, and it's lying at about eight meters, if I remember correctly. Okay guys, and that's the end, and uh, thank you very much for watching, and um, 
I hope you have a lot of fun diving Justin's caves. Cheers.